and we did it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> that was great. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. This is going to be a silly one, I'm just going to go ahead and warn you now. Uh, before we do this though, uh, just a quick heads up, if you're not already, please subscribe, it really would mean a lot to us. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. But we're going to take a peek at uh, at an extra turns list. Now this is not going to be very good, uh, but we're going to have fun with it. And that's all that really matters. So uh, with the new set, we were given uh, Alchemist's Gambit, uh, which is a sorcery for three mana that says take an extra turn after this one. During that turn, damage can't be prevented. Uh, and then at the beginning of the next turns in step, you lose the game if you didn't pay the cleave cost. And then, of course, you exile it. Now that, in tandem with Alron's Epiphany, means we've got four and four, so total of eight spells that can technically take an extra turn, which is great if we can get them out. Um, <laughs> so we're kind of doing the treasure thing, where the goal is definitely just to play a bunch of treasures. Prismari commands in here, uh, Galazeth Prismari, uh, the Goldspan Dragon. We do have Magma Opus as well that can uh, throw some treasure tokens out there. Um, for some disruption, we have Solid Coming and Jwari Disruption, and then of course we've got Frostbite, Play With Fire, Cinderclasm, all those kinds of things. All of which is like just silly. I don't think this is going to work very well. I haven't tried it. Uh, I have no idea, but I just wanted to give this one a shot. Well, you can see we've kind of got an odd breakdown on, on our lands as well, but I don't know. It just seemed kind of fun. I had to try it. This is my version of the build. It's not going to be good, but we're just here to have fun today. So that's all we're going to do. Let's jump into a few games. We'll see how it goes. If we lose every one, it's fine. We'll just have a nice day. So <laughs> let's try it out, guys. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and actually, this is a pretty easy keep. Uh, so we've got the Frostbite turn one. We can Magma Opus to, well, discard it to create a treasure token. And then that's going to allow us to get Prismari on turn three uh, if we'd like. Um, so, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, I guess we go ahead and do this just to get it off the field. Um, cause turn two, we do plan to leave up now Jwari Disruption or the Magma Opus. We could actually do either one. Uh, so we'll see. Um, I, I'm intrigued by this, this deck. Uh, the way to win is just extra turns on top of like a Goldspan Dragon and that kind of deal. Um, so we'll see if it works. They had nothing. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, we'll pass. Uh, that's really good for us cause that just means we should be able to disrupt something this turn. Uh, which I think we'll want to do above playing the Magma Opus uh, for the treasure, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh yes, uh, actually no, right? Because they can just they can just pay it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this then, uh, and that'll allow us to get Prismari down here. Oh, or we can do this and leave up the disruption. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, I think we do that. Now we can also foretell this at some point as well, which is good. So I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, this is hilarious and probably really bad, but that's fine. Tap everything. Do it. I dare you. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Uh, yeah, you got it. Oh, look, we can lose the game next turn if we want. <laughs> um, all right, let's do this. Uh, oh, my, uh, my headphones just quit out on us. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and play this as the land then. Um, there's no reason not to. All right, I'm going to plug my headphones in really quick because apparently they are dead. I always forget to charge these things. That's on me. That's really on me. Um, all right. Control another one, put a one-one counter on the pup. That's a cool little card, actually. Um, yeah, dude. You got it. Uh, so this coming turn, we actually just have Goldspan Dragon, which can go go ahead in and attack. If we get a land, land's very good for us. Um, all right, so 
we need seven mana for that. So let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and get in for an attack. Um, cool. And let's go ahead and foretell this. So this is going to set us up. Oh, why does it? This can just artifacts you control have tap and add one mana of any color. We didn't have to sacrifice it. <laughs> that was kind of annoying. Um, all right. We're just, this is just here to like try and stave off a little bit of the damage, but next turn we're actually going to start taking those extra turns. So we might be in okay shape here. Um, they don't have any flyers, which is relevant. Uh, they do have five mana available um, and they can really pump something up with the Midnight Scourge here. So we'll see uh, if they can fight something off. That's a little scary, but that's actually not the end of the world. Sure. Okay, you did it. Good for you. Uh, I would have maybe pumped this up so they could have attacked him with that too, but that's cool. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're taking it. We are taking it. All right. Sure, draw your cards. Uh, the worst they can do is... I don't even know if they play to land this turn. Okay, so they have one open mana. That's fine. Uh, all right. Perfect. So... First things first, uh, let's tap this for blue. And let's take an extra turn. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Uh, let's attack in. Cool, we did it. Now, oh, perfect. Okay, uh, let's tap this. <laughs> Wait. All right, let's tap this for red. Why? Why did... All right, that's really annoying. Okay, cast with cleave. That's a very frustrating little like back and forth, but now we can do this and we did it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> that was great. Okay, cool. Uh, Well, it did work. Let's jump into game two. Let's see if we can do it again. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, Let's see what we can do. This is a, a pretty okay hand. Um, It's not amazing, but we'll keep it. Uh, truthfully, we didn't actually need to take the extra turn last game, but ah, figured why not. Um, all right, so we do have the Magma Opus that we can discard here, uh, which I think we'll probably end up doing. Uh, but we do leave the Cinderclasm up, I guess, just in case. Uh, the great thing about this, obviously, instant speed stuff, so we don't really have to do too much until it's the opponent's turn, uh, which is helpful. So let's go ahead and create that treasure token now. There's not a big reason not to. Uh... Oh, uh, do we guarantee the... I think we have to guarantee that. Um, Alright, so we're not going to be able to kill that dragon egg, which is a little scary, but we'll see what we can do. Um, The smoldering egg is definitely a scary card. It's very powerful. Oh, and they've got two of them. Okay. Uh, the good news is they probably won't be able to flip them this turn, so that's helpful. Uh, Let's do this. Let's gold span dragon. We'll auto pay. We basically just have to hope that we can out outpace them here, uh, which is very scary and not super likely. But <laughs> uh, if they can flip both of these, uh, they should be able to kill the gold span dragon. Now we're going to hopefully get a lot of treasure token out of that if they decide to do it. So we'll see. But uh, I don't know. We'll we'll hopefully make something happen. All right. Very likely they both can flip this turn, uh, but very unlikely that they actually have a follow-up play after doing so. So, oh no, I'm sorry. Wait a second. They need how many Ember counters? It, it needs seven. Okay, they're not even close. Perfect. So then we may actually, we may actually, for some reason I was thinking they needed four counters and I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> I, must, I think I was thinking like Thing in the Ice maybe from old school Innistrad uh, or kind of old school in Innistrad. All right, so they do have a Delver they can play out, which we can actually just kill with the Cinderclasm, which is kind of nice. Uh, as long as they don't kill Goldspan Dragon, I feel pretty good. All right, they are going to kill Goldspan Dragon. Uh, they have no mana left of open, though. Okay. Yeah. You did it. Uh, all right, my turn. Oh, <laughs> That's really good. Uh, 
I guess let's go red. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, let's throw this out there. Let's attack. Uh, now we've got quite a, a, a lot of uh, stuff. And I think we just pass. Um, again, kind of just hoping they can't kill Goldspan Dragon. If they can, that's bad. If they can't, we're doing great. Um, okay, they're going to draw a couple cards. So that's fine. Those flip. Uh, now, though, they might be able to kill the thing, which I don't want them to do. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't, I mean, there's not a lot we can do about it. Like, we just have to kind of take it. Um, so, let's see. Oh. Haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, okay. That doesn't kill us then. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Uh, all right. So, we're going to take this. We're going to have to play this really, really carefully here. Um, all right. Let's do this appropriately. Uh, we're going to deal two. And I think we'll pr we'll draw two and discard two. So we're going to deal two here. We're going to target me, auto pay. That's fine. All right, cool. We got rid of two lands on the top. That was actually really important. OK, and then we do this to get rid of this. Now, all of this is just to set up for the Alchemist Gambit. <laughs> uh, there's a Frostbite, actually. That's kind of helpful. Okay, so let's attack in. We create that treasure token, uh, which we can use to play the cleave cost on the Gambit. <laughs> all right, so we get an extra turn. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't get there. Uh, okay. I mean, we can't do anything about it. We might as well attack in. Um, we're not, we expect that Goldspan Dragon is going to die. I mean, truthfully, there's no reason it shouldn't. So we might as well get the attack in while we can. I mean, I think we played this correctly, honestly. I don't think we did anything terrible. Uh, I just think the opponent's going to be able to win, uh, which is sad, but it's fine. We didn't expect to win any games with this. Let me be clear. Uh, and so this is, this is just a silly moment. <laughs> All right, do it. Hit me. Uh, I was really hoping we could draw like an epiphany or something like that we could cast, but it's all good. Uh, that's why I did draw extra cards uh, off the Prismari command, which I just think is the right call. So, uh, yep. The good news here is if we do get like an all rounds epiphany, uh, like we're not out of the game 100% here. We're not super in the game anymore, but um, we're not just dead. So there's some benefit to that. Uh, we do also have a Frostbite. If we happen to draw another one, we can burn out the dragon. Um, I mean, we'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, land is not ideal. <laughs> uh, so now it, it's pretty likely we just die. They actually can just play the Inferno, which is another 10 damage uh, in total this turn. Um, and that sets them up for a pretty solid win the following turn. So I think that's probably just the correct play. Yeah, you got it. Uh, again, not 100% dead, but pretty close. <laughs> now we have to get in, uh, specifically an epiphany just to be able to have like a chance. Uh, yeah, that's not going to do it. Um, all right. They got us. Let's go ahead and concede. We'll play one more game with this list. It's a silly one. I don't want to waste everybody's time too badly, but I do think it's really fun. So let's jump into one final one. All right, guys, here we are for our uh, last game, most likely with this list. And yeah, I mean, this is a pretty easy keep. We've got the Frostbite. We've got a Disruption. So both of those are going to be helpful, hopefully in the early game. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the Goldspan Dragon. So we kind of just need to draw some like Prismari commands, something like that. Excuse me, if we can foretell a epiphany early, uh, we might be in good shape as well. Excuse me, I feel like I have to burp, but it's not coming out. Um, <clears throat> also, guys, uh, if you're watching this right now and thinking, wow, this is a really fun idea, but not a very good execution, you're probably correct. Uh, please feel free to share uh, a new version of this deck list in the in the comments section below. Share it in Discord, wherever you want to, um, because I would be very interested 
Uh, very, very interested. Opponent took a little while to uh, decide there, so I'm curious to see what they actually have. Um, there's the Epiphany. We are going to lead on the uh, the Den of the Bugbear just so we don't have to worry about a tapped land. Uh, this leaves open Frostbite, of course, this turn. Next turn, we get to leave up the Disruptions. So we'll see what happens. Uh, this might be a fairly reactive deck, getting given that it is a mono black uh, so far. Um, although it looks like they have white. Yeah, OK. Uh, I'm going to hold off and leave up the Disruption here, not foretell the Epiphany. We're not in a rush to do that. Uh, so I'm not super worried about it. Uh, the only downside to playing these early is that we don't have the snow lands out for the frostbite, so it's not going to deal maximum damage. Um, but that may not be super relevant anyway. I mean, we'll see. It depends on what the opponent actually does here. So, uh, if they play lands, this could be like a angel life gain deck, so they might have like Righteous Valkyrie, uh, in which case Jawari Disruption is going to be just super clutch right now. Um, do it. Do the thing. Do anything. Uh, yep. Um, I counter it. Uh, there's really no reason not to counter it. Jewelry disruption is only good in certain circumstances, so we want to make sure that we're utilizing it as best we can. Uh, let's go ahead and foretell one of the epiphanies. Uh, it's gonna cheapen that up for later, and we still get to leave up frostbite, which is great. Now this one obviously we can't do anything about, uh, yep. But again, if we had had, this is the, the double standard here, if we had had snow permanence out, we definitely could have, so a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, all right, we'll play this and we'll do this. Again, just getting stuff kind of out of the hand here and setting up for later. Uh, we will be able to get Goldspan Dragon down next turn. Uh, enter spell, field where attacks exile, okay. Uh, I mean, this is a good card, but theoretically, we should be able to outpace them here if we can take the extra turns. Uh, double Goldspan Dragon is helpful in case they have a removal spell. Uh, they're just going to take the opportunity to draw a card here. It looks like they may not have a whole lot in hand, if that's the case. Uh, interesting. Okay, we're definitely killing that. Uh, just to get that out of there. We don't want them to start flooding the board. Um with uh, little zombie tokens here, so that's definitely the right call. They're gonna get Frostbite out of there, that's fine. Uh, that's not super relevant. And there, we got a third Goldspan Dragon, holy crap! Uh, well, we certainly have a good bit of stuff we can do. Uh, double Epiphany, uh, so we are gonna get a couple extra turns here, and just multiple Goldspan Dragons, so I'm sure they can probably remove this Goldspan Dragon. But they're going to set themselves up for a rough couple of turns if they do so, uh, which is fine by me. Uh, Flesh Taker is kind of good. They don't have a card to exile. That makes me think they don't have a removal spell. Uh, if they did, I would expect they would have played it on the Goldspan Dragon, so they could have exiled it just to get that extra little bit of uh, damage there, but fine by me. Uh, Alright, first things first, we're going to attack in... Uh, it's going to guarantee that we get that treasure token, which is quite relevant. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Perfect. Uh, we'll all run's epiphany. Um, auto pay, that's fine. Uh, the magma opus is actually a playable card here at some point as well, so something to uh, to keep in mind here. Now eight, nine, ten. We can't quite deal lethal. Uh, or can we? <laughs> Uh, interesting. Okay, so we can't deal lethal quite yet, I suppose. We're pretty close, though. Uh, so if we do this, we actually can create enough mana to play the Alron's Epiphany again. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, perfect. Let's attack in with everything. Um, get two more treasure tokens, which, it, again, isn't exactly enough to play this. Uh, we actually can... Uh, no, we can't quite yet, but that's fine. Okay, so they're they're hunting, uh, <laughs> but they are now tapped out, uh, aside from, I guess, this one little treasure token. So I don't think they can win. There we go. We did it. I didn't count very well, apparently. Uh, heck yes. All right, well, let's chat about this. All right, so I know that was a shorter subset of games. We only spent about 20 minutes on this one. Uh, it kind of worked, though. Like... 
two out of three isn't bad uh and we do have extra copies now of the extra turn cards so like i kind of like this um this might not be the best build in the world please again try this out but see what you can do to tech it out this is just my own kind of very quick creation of it uh i would imagine there's a better way to handle it but overall that kind of worked um I don't know what to say. It was really good. <laughs> uh, I love this. I love taking extra turns. It's a silly deck, but it works. So I hope you guys do test this out. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic time. Hopefully we have more gameplay coming. I'm trying to pre-record as much as we can to get you guys extra content over the weekend and that kind of thing. Uh, so we'll see, but I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos.